15 minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys what you asked for. Everyone has been requesting me to read, um, what does it say? New Lexicon Webster's Dictionary of the English Language. So, you don't speak English, you're about to be confused. Let's see. This is. This is page 63. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Australian. Noun, a native or an inhabitant of Australia. Two, adjective. Pertaining or belonging to Australia, its inhabitants, etc. Do do do. I don't know how to pronounce that. Au pair of an arrangement for reciprocal services between two parties which often avoids money payment or a wages relationship. It is used especially of the arrangement arrangement whereby a girl wishing to learn a foreign language goes abroad and gives domestic help in return for food, lodging, sometimes pocket money, and the opportunity to, to learn. And the next word is aura. 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 Noun, the atmosphere of a thing, an aura of romance. It's like a, um, <clears throat> a vague, luminous, glowing surrounding of a figure or object. A warning of an impeding epileptic fit. It may take f the form of a sound, sight, smell, or feeling not perceptible to others. Very... A new age. I'm not starting it from page one. Which word were you talking about? Bullock? Um, a castrated bull. Um, I am a bullock. Um, fillet. A lace or net with a geometrical pattern worked on a square mesh. Um, I don't know how to read, I just have somebody telling me everything in my ear. Uh, joyful. Filled with causing or showing joy. That's a dictionary word. Lettuce, a member of Lactica family. Uh, um, a crisp leaved annual plant wildly cultivated in temperate regions and usually eaten raw in salads. And that ends today's lesson.